Now we're going to get into a topic that all street photographers and content creators can, can relate to. The quest for likes and also why that might not be the best way to uh, measure your success. Your artistic generation should be first and foremost about you. You have to enjoy what you create. If you enjoy what you create, then other people can. Again, if other people love what you do, but it doesn't really resonate with you, then what was the point to begin with? If your whole reason for being is to make other people happy, well then, again, chasing likes might be your thing, but chances are it's not. Again, eventually it's gonna grow old. People's, people's taste that's not yours is a moving target. You, uh, you, you can't be expected to, uh, to hit it all the time. And it's exhausting and, and, and soul sucking to try. So if you can remember to again, do what you love, then you're going to, you'll just be more fulfilled and things are going to work out for you better. Eventually, you're going to find the people that like you for you and like what you do because it is what they also like. Again, you, if you don't lock in on what it is that makes you happy, there's just no way that you're going to be able to sustain this and just constantly look in, and find what's going to make other people happy. It just, it's not worth it. Like, really, at, at what point do you uh, wake up and go, what about me? So it, it, that should... You don't have to think about, oh, well, what about me all the time? It just sounds kind of self-serving and, uh, and, and awful. But in the end, it is about you. You're the creator. So the question is, ask yourself, why are you creating in the first place? Now let's contradict the myth that the work that gets the most likes is the most valuable. Frequently, it's not. And often our best work doesn't get the, the most likes because it, it requires a bit more, a, a bit more examination. Things, the, the shiny, happy things that people tend to click on that, or the dark things or whatever it is that they do. Typically on the, uh, on social media, they're going through fast on a small screen. They're distracted and uh, they, they like typically a group of people that they already like and they'll see other things and they're not dwelling more often than not. So to judge the value of your images uh, and therefore your, in essence, your self-worth, basing the value of your work off of these rapid assessments is, uh, again, is just self-defeating. Don't be afraid of criticism. It's actually very helpful. Uh, but there are types of criticism that are helpful and there are types that are worthless. And I can think of three off the top of my head. One is the, like the adulation of friends and family. When someone says, I love it, or that's so cool, it sounds nice, but it doesn't really tell you anything about your work. Another thing, would, second would be destructive criticism. And that's, again, as the name says, it's pretty much destructive. It, it's pointless to value it when somebody basically just comes out and says, oh, you suck, or it sucks, or doesn't give you any, any reason why that they, that they don't like it. So they're just saying something that's negative. They're saying it fast. They're not giving it much thought. Uh, there's no thought that really went into it. It's just an ad hominem attack, and it helps nobody. It makes them feel good, maybe. So, and then, of course, the last, and actually the only one that's it's worth anything is uh, constructive criticism. And constructive criticism should be sought out. Constructive criticism will tell you another way of looking at something. Nothing is perfect. Everything can be improved upon. And this is what we're looking for as artists, as a, just as photographers, as people in general. We can all we can all deal, and we should all we could all benefit from some constructive criticism. So that should be dealt out in a way that points out the good things and can talk about the, the issues that need to be changed uh, in a way that doesn't sound like, oh my God, you're, you're a loser and uh, you should just stop doing this. So that, we all need that. And, and it can be, any type of criticism whatsoever can be challenging as a, as a creator because it, it just feels like, okay, we're, we're somehow being attacked. And with the creative criticism, constructive criticism, we're not. People are actually trying to help and we can learn from that and get it from a few people. Again, it doesn't, just because one person has an, has an opinion and their criticism may, is, is as valid as the next person's because art in general is subjective. So take it in 
ask for it. Don't be offended by it. Again, people say, wow, that's amazing, that's cool, that's wonderful. You can ask for more, you just leave it at that, but recognize it's not the true basis of your work. And neither is the you suck or other just awful things that trolls will come with and throw at you. As you grow and you evolve as an artist, street photographer in our case, and any other, any other art form, you are going to gain new followers and you're going to lose, uh, you're going to lose some old followers. It's similar to musicians, say, who start a band like in a garage and they get some early followers who love their, their raw sound. As they get better and more talented with their instruments, they suddenly get bored at playing some of the really simple stuff and they move on to more complicated arrangements. And then some of the original adopters think, well, they've lost where they, they've lost their edge. They've, they forget where they came from and then they move on to find some other uh, new band. That's fine. That's, that's their taste. You as an artist are moving on and, and you shouldn't be held back just because you're trying to, ple again, please everybody all the time. You have to, you have to evolve at your own speed. You have to do what's right for you, by you. And you will have people that will follow you through the whole journey. And you're gonna have other people that will come on at various points. It's all good, it's all part of the process. Enjoy it, accept it, it is what it is. It's part of life. So fellow photographers and creators in general, let's shift our focus, no pun intended, from the uh, the chasing of likes to make us feel good and for self-validation and just actually appreciate the work that we're trying to do. Concentrate on what makes you happy, what your vision is. Your vision may change over time, go with it. And you, you, can't, you can't hold back and just stagnate just for the sake of others, just because you want their likes. Again, just, you will gain new likes. Let's just appreciate what we do and the likes will come. And if they don't, you're happy, so everybody wins. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, then hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content later on. And like always, don't forget your camera.